Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd of Rudd's Home Farm, and today I'm going to show you which RO system that I picked for my hydroponic plants. Now, if you don't know, RO stands for reverse osmosis, and it is one of the best types of water that you can be using for your hydroponic system, the cleanest. If you want this hydroponic system, the link is always in the description, and you can visit my website for all the other equipment that I use in my hydroponic system behind me. So let's go ahead and show you which one I picked. All right, this is the PD400 Reverse Osmosis System by Frizz Life. Okay, so let's just do a quick what it looks like, how it's got connections in the back. Uh, this red one is for waste, and this is in the basement, so it just goes into the basement drain right here. And then this one is your incoming water, and I have that attached to uh, a couple connections. Uh, most the connections you need will already be here, but I just needed this little elbow here and this little cap here. Everything else was provided for the setup for most systems. It's made for the kitchen, but it can easily be adapted here. Um, here is the faucet thing that you would need most of the time for uh, hooking up to your kitchen, but uh, you could just use it. I like What I like about it is when I'm like filling up hydroponics over here, is I could just put it on the side and then turn it on. Oh, let's check out the flow. See, it takes a few seconds to get up to full speed. And at about full speed, you're getting about a quarter gallon a minute, which is not bad for uh, RO systems out there. It's a one to 1 1.5 ratio. That means for every one cup of RO water it makes, it makes 1.5 cups of wastewater which goes down the drain uh, i've seen other hydroponic systems on amazon where it's a one to four meaning that for every one cup of ro water it wastes four cups which is a lot okay so we're going to go ahead and test the ro water now to see the what is called the micro siemens to see how clean the water is and the cool thing about frizz life is they give you a micro siemens tester along with the kit so you can actually test the water and uh, here is the micro siemens tester they send with you okay so over here on the right i have tap water which i just got from upstairs and over here we just filled that one up so let's check out tap water okay so it's a bit hard to see but that is 281 i'm sorry reading it upside down 100 181 micro siemens 182 that's not too terrible um you could see it in the range of 200 plus maybe at most 300 but uh that's still quite a bit now we'll just check over to the ro water bam look at that eight micro siemens so another thing i like about it how easy it is to install it comes with a very thorough instruction manual and they explain everything to you like they had this little connector this little waste tube wasn't long enough and I had some extra tubing to go to this little drain here. So they had that connector here. And so they'll have most of everything you need. You shouldn't need like all these connectors here, 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 everything came with it. And I love it. Uh, another thing I like is it's got indicators on the front. As you can see, you got your RO and your CP filter and you can always click the flush. If your water's really not clean enough, then it'll flush the system or it's been sitting for a week and it'll come out the drain, as you can see right here. Whoop. Okay, it'll flush for 30 seconds. So if you're not getting as clean water as you want, you can always click the little flush button, which is very handy. Another great positive is it stands upright very well. And it's really small and compact. I really like that. Here are the filters. That's CP1, CP2, that's pretty easy how they come off. Uh, another big deal is that these can be bought on amazon.com, just like the whole unit. Uh, most of the other stuff, other ROs with the six filters, 10 filters made by foreign companies, they require you to call the actual company and price it. They don't even have the price of the filters on there so it's like you don't know what you're getting into it's like you have five filters and they all have to be replaced eventually the the unit itself might be cheaper than this but 
it's unknown to know how much the filters are gonna cost. You might go through two change outs for a six filter version that you have to call in and get filters and it might overall be more expensive than getting this and I was able to look at the price of the filters and see if it was all in my budget. Overall, I'm very pleased with this product and I'm very happy to add it to my hydroponic system. All right, so for a quick second, let's talk about why an RO system is important. So the, so the number one reason is that you want the cleanest water you can possibly get so when you add nutrients, there's nothing interfering with what you add. You're, at, you're starting with a clean slate of nutrients and there's nothing that could possibly counteract or if you have like stuff like well water or bad tap water, hard water, the amount of nutrients and, and partic particulates already dissolved in the water, the TDS, which is called total dissolved liquids or total dissolved solids, sorry, um, the, they might actually, the nutrients might not even be able to absorb into the water because there's so much other stuff in the water. Sure, it's okay to drink. You know, some people like RO water to drink because it's cleaner, but tap water, there's nothing wrong with it. You can drink it. But for your plants, you, you might what cause what is called nutrient lockout to where there's so much salt in the water that your plants can't even absorb anything at all and they'll just refuse to take anything because it's too acidic or too, you know, too much going on in the water, too much salt in the water to absorb the nutrients. So what an RO system doesn't do is it doesn't get rid of microbials or bacterials. So you still wanna go ahead and, you know, clean the water. I use HydroGuard. You know, everything I have is, is in the, is on my website, links in the description. But um, HydroGuard uses bacteria that counteracts the, the main leading bacterials that attack hydroponic plants or you could use hydrogen peroxide. So you're still gonna to wanna to add that to your RO system, but the RO eliminates, you know, the particulates and stuff. And so it's like, it's, you kind of want your hydroponics to be as much scientific as possible. You know, you want, you don't, everything is kind of uh, like, it's not just throw stuff in the dirt and go on with it. It's like, you want you want everything to be controlled and therefore you can maximize the yield of your plants, maximize the amount of growing, maximize everything if you can control all the variables to the T. Whereas throwing it in the dirt and watering it outside, you know, it could be sunny, it could be rainy overall, but you know, you're using artificial light and you're trying to get as much growth out of it as possible, as quickly as possible. So those are the best reasons to use an RO system. If you like this video, check out my other ones, and I'll be making more very soon. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.